Hi, it's Grandpa with another Scooby-Doo book for today. We love Scooby-Doo. I used to love watching those cartoons on Saturday mornings. This one's called Shiny Spooky Knights. Knights as in Knights in Armor by Gail Herman. And here we go. All at once, the van stopped. Row, row, said Scooby. Zoinks, said Shaggy. We are out of gas. No, said Fred. He checked under the hood. Engine trouble. We have to call a tow truck. Velma and Daphne looked around. Where could they find a telephone? Rook, Scooby cried. He pointed down the road. I hope it's a house, Velma said, so we can use the phone and the fridge, Shaggy, Shaggy added. The gang walked toward the light, and the light grew brighter. They were getting closer. Suddenly, Velma said, Jinkies! It's not a house, it's a castle! The castle looked spooky. Scooby dug in his paws. He didn't want to move. Come on, old buddy, Shaggy said. Think fridge. <laughs> in a flash, Scooby swam across the moat. He banged on the drawbridge with his tail. The drawbridge dropped. Suits of armor stood at the door. Cool statues, said Shaggy. Clank, clank. <laughs> the helmets snapped open. They weren't suits of armor. They were knights. Shiny, spooky knights. Who goes there? One knight cried. Nobody, cried Shaggy. He, he and Scooby backed away. Come on, said Fred, we have to find a phone. Scooby shook his head. Row away. <laughs> for, for a Scooby snack, Velma said. Shaggy and Scooby raced inside. <laughs> inside the castle, a chandelier swung back and forth. Creak, creak. That's funny, said Daphne. There's no breeze. What is making it move? Roasts, Scooby whispered to Shaggy. Ghost, Shaggy said in a strange ma man, oh, as a strange man rushed into the room. The man opened his mouth to speak. Scooby stared at his sharp, pointy teeth. Rings, said Scooby. He's a vampire, Shaggy cried. Shaggy and Scooby ran, but the vampire ran too. Like, since we're running, Shaggy said, let's run to the kitchen. Rah! said Scooby. In the kitchen, they saw a woman. She stirred a giant pot that bubbled over a fire. A witch, cried Shaggy. You two are perfect, said the witch. Just what I need. No way, said Shaggy. We're not part of your spooky recipe. Shaggy and Scoopy raced away. Stop, cried the witch. Stop, cried the vampire. They chased Shaggy and Scooby down the stairs to a dark, dark dungeon. Shaggy and Scooby backed into a corner. Suddenly, a mummy leaped up. Time is up, he shouted. Our time is up, Scoob, Shaggy cried. We've got to get out of here. They raced up the stairs. Stop, cried the mummy. Stop, cried the witch. Stop, cried the vampire. Let's find Velma, Fred, and Daphne. Then we'll get out of here, said Shaggy. Finally, Shaggy flung open a door. Down below, they saw monsters and zombies and ghosts, and Velma and Daph Daphne and Fred. A knight stood over them. He held his sword tight. What should we do, Shaggy asked Scooby. Just when the vampire witch and mummy leaped beside them, rump, said Scooby. Jump, Shaggy yelled. Shaggy, Shaggy grabbed the chandelier. Scooby grabbed Shaggy. They swung across the room. Shaggy and Scooby dropped to the floor right on the top of the night. My sword, the knight cried. Grab it, Fred. Shaggy shouted. Fred scooped it up, but then he gave it back to the knight. Scooby hid his eyes. He was afraid to look. Relax, Velma said. The knight is going to cut the cake. <laughs>
Velma stepped out of the way. Now Shaggy could see a party cake. It's a costume party, Velma said. But, said Shaggy, what about the ghostly chandelier? I was pulling a string, said the vampire, to move the chandelier into place. And the witch's potion, Shaggy asked. Punch, said the witch. I wanted you to try it. <laughs> and the mummy's warning, time is up. The mummy smiled. My nap time was over, but you chased us, said Shaggy. Sure, said the vampire, to invite you to the party. Ah, we knew it all along, right, Scoob, said Shaggy. We were just acting. <laughs> Scooby looked around at all the smiling faces. He stood up and bowed. scooby dooby doo <laughs> Would you like to use the phone now, asked the knight. Uh, no rush, said Shaggy. How about some cake? <laughs> Those guys always just think about their tummies, right? Well, if you like that story, watch our Halloween playlist. Give us a big thumbs up here down below and subscribe to our channel and tell all your friends to watch our Halloween books this month.